Today, we'll go on a trip to Crimea. This is impossible because it's occupied, you say. Maybe. But seeing the traditions of the Crimean Tatars may count as a trip to Crimea itself. Are you ready? Let's go. Hello, Privit, everybody. Rob and I have been very lucky to travel to so many places around Ukraine, but there's one place that we really want to go to. Crimea! Now, uh, due to its annexation, unfortunately, it's tough for us to get to Crimea, but a lot of Crimean Tatars live in and around Kiev. Yes, and we're here today at the Eski Karim, which translates to Old Crimea in Ukrainian. Yep, so we're gonna uh, dabble in a few traditions. Let's go dip our toes. Come on! So what happened to Crimea, and why can't we get there in the 21st century in the center of Europe? Crimea is a peninsula in the northern part of the Black Sea, a part of Ukraine. Since March 2014, Crimea was captured and annexed by Russia. The indigenous population of the Crimea Peninsula are the Crimean Tatars, and like many Ukrainians who supported the integrity of Ukraine, have been constantly facing repression and were forced to flee. Well, the least we can do is learn more about the traditions of the Crimean Tatars. And whom? is our mysterious guide. Meet Esma Adzheva, the Councillor Minister of Culture of Ukraine and Specialist in Crimean Tatar Culture. What about my name? <laughs> Esma! Yes. Esma! Yes. So please talk us through uh, our outfits today. What are we wearing? Uh, it's uh, traditional male, uh, male and female costumes. Uh, and they have a lot of different uh, ornaments. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a like of uh, wishes, uh, healthy um, uh, health, uh, good family, uh, and be happy. <laughs> yeah, and yes. fertility as well. Yes, yes. it's uh, it's about yes, a lot of uh, ornaments about fertility. It's wishes fertility for women. Yes, and this is quite an interesting story behind this. So the husband would give this to the wife yeah. and if he was killed in a war because there was a lot of wars during that time these gold coins act as like the will so she could take one off and pay for food oh, like for housing in, like insurance like, crime, insurance. like crime yeah. insurance yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Insurance. yeah. Yes, yes, exactly. exactly it helps to save family uh, and a lot of children's in, in yeah. family yeah yeah isn't that quite dangerous though to have such expensive ornaments on your chest. Mm, I guess thing. you wouldn't wear this outside, or maybe. Yeah, when would you wear these costumes? Every day or for a special yes. event? Yes. Uh, the, the women wear uh, these costumes every day, and wow. uh, we uh, asked my, uh, I asked my grandparents about uh, it's uh, not dangerous, and. Uh, uh, she, she said, no, why? Because we haven't any uh, crime, criminals. Crime, no crime in <laughs> <Yes>. Crimea. <laughs> uh, it was one century ago. Wow. Yes. Um, what about this pipe that I have? What would I, what and why would I smoke this? Just tobacco? Or? Uh, to yes, tobacco. Just tobacco, yes. just a casual, wow. casual yes. smoke. <laughs> That's very long. Why is it so long? <laughs> Overcompensating for something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, so, would men wear any? I guess men wouldn't wear any jewelry or expensive ornaments on their um, person. Uh, in Crimean Tatar, female cast costume uh, don't orn We have not any ornaments uh, yeah. uh, after the maybe after the belt okay. yes because the belt blocked your uh your um because of the energy like bad energy yes yes which yes. is oh okay, well. yeah well um i feel like i need a, a smoke and a drink maybe a coffee and a baklava yes yes so should we go get a coffee yes da let's go the right bye. yes thank you so much Okay, so we're in traditional dress. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for a little cuisine, a little drink. So what have we got here? Coffee and what's this? Paklava. 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 Yes. Oh, traditional wow. Crimean Tartar sweets. Ooh, Ooh, how's it yeah. made? What's it made of? Uh, this is sour, yeah, and uh, with uh, honey and with uh, uh, 
<laughs> nuts. <laughs> nuts? Oh, wow. You're not allergic to nuts, are you? No. Yeah. Um, but this is very interesting. What is this? Um, it's a uh, uh, creamy and tartar sweets too. Um, parvarda. Par par parvarda. 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 <laughs> Okay, wonderful. So we put it in these in the coffee, which was made on on sand. This is how it's made. Yes. And this is a traditional Crimean way of enjoying coffee. And uh, for Crimean Tatars, a very important uh, tradition: uh, morning coffee. Morning coffee. Yes. Wow. Morning coffee because uh, uh, we have uh, opportunity to uh, meet uh, all the family, and uh, when we uh, drink. When we're drinking coffee, yeah. we communicate uh, with the parents, parents with children, and we say about uh, our plans during the day, yes. about our emotions, about um, uh, uh, our decisions. And uh, morning coffee, it's very, very uh, a beautiful tradition for Crimea. Yes. Yes. I can't function in the morning without coffee, yeah, so I understand yeah. completely. Um, well, let's try it. Do you want to put one of these? Let's try it. Yes. Do you put it in? Yes, yes. All of no, it? No, no, no. I, uh, oh, oh. I will, uh, it's not. Uh, you, it's yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can put on and after that. Yeah? Try. Yeah. Oh. Dip it in. It melts. Mm-hmm. Mm. Do you like it? Yeah, it's like a little sweet. It's like hard powdered sugar. Yes. Yeah. But that much sugar mm -hmm. makes such a little uh, coffee. Yeah, but I, I love... Uh, things that melt in a hot drink, that's like... Oh. What are your top three things that melt? <laughs> Other than that sugar. Um, chocolate. Chocolate melts. Mm -hmm. Biscuits in the and UK. They don't melt. And you can do it very uh, fast. Yeah, I know, because it melted <laughs> then. You've got to get in, you've got to get in, mm -hmm. you dip. Oh, okay. you Professional, yes. yes. Wow. <laughs> and our celebratory sip of the coffee. Yes. What, what would you say? What's the uh, traditional... Oh, I mean for cheers. I <laughs> feel a Vietle-Rosen. A Vietle-Rosen. A Vietle-Rosen. A My parents, uh, my relatives, uh, important for me uh, because I know they had experience. Yeah. They had, yes. They you have, can learn from them. Yes, they have uh, life experience mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, they can um, give you uh, um, Good, good advice, maybe. Yeah, I mean, I should probably take note. I maybe call my parents like once every three weeks or so, and they always call me. I'm never the one to make the call, but no, that is nice. Um, I'm sure I, I could learn a lot from my parents, but I mostly get bad habits from my mum and dad. So, um, basically, all the Crimean Tatar community uh, are, are very close uh, because uh, uh, we have a lot of different. Um, challenges during yeah. our life. Our um, traditions help us to save our identity. Yes, yes, identity. Yeah. And that's why we don't assimilate during 40 years leaving to uh, Uzbekistan. Yeah. And after uh, when we uh, came back to Crimea, we started. It was very difficult time for my family, for example, because we have not uh, uh, houses, uh, we have not um, money, and it was very, very difficult for us, but uh, we uh, uh, keep uh, keep together. Yeah. Yes, we help, helped each other, and that's why we revitalization our tradition, our culture, and uh, it's in our blood, uh, uh, our ornaments, our knowledge is about it. What does it take to understand cultures of other people? Learn to cook their signature dish. One of the main dishes Crimean Tatar cuisine is associated with are its chebureks. Basically, these are large pastries fried in a large amount of butter in the form of a semicircle with a meat filling. Sounds delicious, correct? But I admit it's not very healthy. Therefore, today we will cook yantik, exactly like chaburik, but it does not need to be fried in oil. Or you can just bake it in the oven. We're here with Aliye and we're making yantik. Yantik, it's delicious food. Yes, Crimean Tatar cuisine. Good, fantastic. Well, what, how do we start? What do we do? 
Okay, take the dough. We start with these. This is what we start with. These pancakes are already prepared. So you will roll them out. Ah, uh, pre-roll. Yes. Pre-roll. Everything should be ready in advance. She doesn't trust us, which is fair. Let's start rolling. Uh, yeah, how, how big should it be? How long? <laughs> <laughs> so that it is thin enough. This is the first time I've made something sitting cross-legged. Is it? Yeah. I prefer this. Just sitting, yeah. You might have to help me because I am struggling to flatten this down. Yeah. Really push into it. Yeah. How, how long have you been making uh, yantik? For 40 years. <gasps> wow. 40 years already. Wow. wow. Whole life. Nice. Yeah, is that, is that OK? Yeah, and then we... Hello. Yeah. Ah, I'm way ahead. Cross because... Now, yeah, pull it out. Feel it, right? Pull it out. I made a hole accidentally. Yeah, that was for my nails. Can I just make a small one? Wow, OK, right. Yeah, you do, Rob. Right. Or, or say this with your two working hands. OK, so I do this. Just so I put the cheese on it now. So much. So much. Cheese. Oh, so how, how much cheese? Yeah. Man? Ah. Moss? More? Yeah? Sure. Mm, dobre? Dobre, dobre. dobre. It's very cheesy. I'm glad you're having fun over there. Oh, look at this! And then a little... Now push the edges. Yeah. Push. Push yeah, it no, in. No, no, no. Like, yeah. <laughs> a bit aggressive there. Push it in. Yeah. Oh, and then we have the little cute little... It's like clicked in my arm. My right, shoulders okay. are making some weird noises. Uh, I think we need to get to the gym when turn we... Turn it around. Energy. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, That's fine. Okay. Go ahead. That? That? Don't mind me. Oh, Rob, you're, you're, you're good, good. Yeah? That? OK. OK. Patronise. OK. Another one. OK. And then we... Bam, that, right, surely then. that's enough. OK, exactly like this. OK. Oh. All right, perfect. Stretch it out like a pizza. Oh, there you go. Just rip it off. Tear it off. There we go. It is cooked in a dry frying pan. Very healthy. Sure. Baked. Mm. That's just a yogurt drink. Just a yogurt drink. That's just, yeah, it's just like sour cream. That's like a fruit juice. What, cherry? Tastes like cherry. Mm. It's far more refreshing than that. But I guess, I mean, I would, that, I would feel, feel like when you would pour on it like a sauce rather than oh, it be like a second. That's what it makes more sense. Yeah, it's like a thick yogurt. And now we have our yandik that we made ourselves. Go on, take a, take, a, take a bite. I feel like the edges never have the cheese in it, but I'm ready for it. Okay, you've got the meat one. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, is it nice? Mm. Mm, yeah, this is really good. And obviously, the fact we made it ourselves makes it taste even better. Mm. It's like a pastry. It tastes like a pastry. It's like, yeah, it's like, it's like it. a pancake. Mm. This is traditional tar dish. Mm. I mean, I can see why it would be very filling. It's quite thick. And it's, it is oilier and greasier than I thought it would be. Because, yeah. it's, because it's cooked in an oven, I thought it would be like hard and like crunchy, but it's not. It's, it's, it's a lot softer. This will fill you up for the whole day. Mm -hmm. Delicious and seasoned meat yeah. inside pancakes. Meet Marina Karachi, who moved from the occupied Crimea to mainland Ukraine in 2014. However, she continues to do her business, making the Crimean Tatar ceramics. Let's find out more. We are here with Marina in her beautiful house. In a beautiful dress. Yeah. I can't get over how great the dress is, the print is. Mwah. We're having coffee and halva, um, and you actually made all of these, which are beautiful. It's called Ornek. Ornek. The Ornek. style. So, um, yeah, how long have you been making Ornek? I am a professional ceramist. I have been doing Crimean Tatar ceramics for almost 10 years. And I can show you how it's all done. Still controlled, yeah. controlled hand. Lots of patience with this one, Rob. I'm going to try. And I, I mean, we've had so much coffee today. I'm not sure I'm going to be like. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it like this with the pinky. 
Are you gonna uh, balance with yeah. your? Ah. So this is like when we were doing the wood carving. You know, he was just like make sure that you're like. So it's a method, a, a slow, steady. Think. Do you breathe? Try it. Well, here goes. Good oh, go on. Uh, Hold your breath. Like a pre hit precision sniper. Okay. Oh, it comes out quite thick. Oh. How's it going? I can't see. I can't see what it's you're doing. A, the paint's not coming out, so. Um, squeeze. But I don't want to like do a big squeeze and then. Uh, no, but you need you this question. You should not touch the plate with the tube. Okay. It should be slightly hanging. Oh, a little bit off. Got. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'll hover. Hover just slightly above it, for a few millimeters. Yeah. Oh, well done. Oh, oh this is nice. Nice music to relax you. What would you listen to like while doing this? <laughs> I would listen to reggaeton. <laughs> of course you would. And now just go over that one a bit more. There we go. Oh, there. As you wish. Go on. And I'll yeah. do the other side. Oh, yeah. and then we'll. Uh -huh. we'll now draw a a one line shy. like this. You did it a bit wrong. Oh, I've done it on the wrong bit. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. During quarantine, I imagine she's done thousands of these. So. That's right. OK. Yeah, this is practice. In fact, this may be considered the right way, because in the Crimean Tatar style, there is symmetry of the drawings, but asymmetry of colour. Therefore, if the colour is a little mismatched, not so symmetrical, then this may be correct. One burning lasts almost a day. Whoa! One burning. Each time. Each time. One. Day. Yep. Yep. The thing is that the burning itself does not last very long, like six to eight hours, but then the furnace cools down for a quite a long time. If you open a hot product, it will burst. Oh. Wow. So not perfectly timed. So you need a good oven. A lot oh, yeah, does it need to be a specific kind of oven, or can it just be a, it just has to be a specific temperature? Special pottery oven, yes. They are burned at temperatures over a thousand degrees, which is impossible in a conventional oven. It's a kiln. Yeah. Having painted it, ah, I see. we put it right in the oven. And then all this glaze takes on a real colour. It's the perfect size. More than heat. More than just 3,000 degrees it can get up to. That's hot. That's hotter That's than the hot. sun. Yeah. After this process, the product becomes so bright, showing completely different colours. Yeah. It's beautiful, it's so shiny. Our decoration style is included in the list of intangible cultural heritage of Ukraine. And this year, it was submitted for consideration to the UNESCO list of intangible cultural heritage of humanity. I just want to give you a small gift. You first. This is Karampal. It's a carnation. There are many little rings. They will protect you from troubles, diseases, and give you longevity. Oh, wow. Oh, well, good. I think I deserve it. <laughs> and I want to give you a female sign. This is a flexible branch. This is a female symbol of both love and family in the future or in the present, and all kinds of good things. This is for you. Oh, this is so nice. Thank you so much. It's been a fantastic yes. way to end our day. It's been really, really wonderful. Thank yes, you. Yes, thank you very much, Jack. Yo. Please come over again. So I know you particularly enjoyed today because of its Middle Eastern sort of influences. Yes, I did. It was really interesting to learn all about Crimea because honestly, before this trip, I knew nothing yeah, I knew about nothing. Crimea. Um, so to learn all the culture and the history and try on the outfits, it's been a very mind-opening day. I wasn't a big fan of the outfits, but I don't like playing on the outfits because you always look wonderful and I always look stupid. And I feel that's offensive in a way because these are wonderful traditional outfits and I always feel stupid in them. Which looked, was I think it looked okay. You have to say. Yeah, but it was really fun to make Yantik as well because we've tried yes. it before, actually learning how it's made and 
just getting involved and then we went to Marina. Marina, the wonderful Marina, and met her family and of course we were able to decorate all the pots that she makes just in her shed outside. I love that, anything that's hands-on, so making the food yeah. or painting the pots is always, it's a win, it's, that's fantastic, it's always fun for me. Yeah, and I think we've learned a lot from this day about Crimea, maybe not everything. No, not um, everything. But to kind of learn about the culture and the tradition and how kind and lovely the people Yeah, are. all the people are so nice and yeah, it, it gives you a little bit of fuel to do your own research and, and find out some more things. It so, does, yeah. It's been a fantastic, fantastic day, full of information and yeah, we'll, uh, we'll relax now and see what, what else we have in store.